uniform electric field is created between the parallel plates which is shown in the figure so the strength of the electric field is 10 newton per coulomb and the region in which electric field is in there is let's consider as l which is 10 centimeter we convert that into meters it is 0 0.1 meter and an electron enters this region with the kinetic energy that is 0 0.5 electron volt if we convert this into joules then it will become 0 0.5 into 1.6 into 10 power negative 19 joule so this 1.6 into 10 power negative 19 is nothing but charge of electron so this uh, we can write it as 0 0.5 e into joule where this e represents charge of electron this is the kinetic energy so what we have to find is we need to find the angle in which the final velocity of the electron makes with horizontal line as it leaves from the region so initially the electron is having only uh, the velocity along x direction so let's specify the directions this is x and this is y so initially electron is having only velocity along x direction as it enters the electric field the electric field will give a force upward due to that it gets y component of the velocity also so as it leaves it, it will have both x and y component of the speed like this is vx this is vy and this will be the resultant velocity v and it is going to make some angle theta with this horizontal one this theta we have to find okay first let's uh, uh, start with this kinetic energy and let's try to figure out what is the initial x component of the velocity vx so kinetic energy we can write it as half m v squared in this case vx squared which is kinetic energy which is equal to 0 0.5 e into j i mean electron joules i am writing everything in terms of joules so we can write vx squared as e by m you know this 2 when it goes this side 2 into 0 0.5 will become 1 and this m which is mass of electron will come down side so we'll get e by m this is our vx squared let it be like this and you know there is a, a length region of uh, the region's length is given that we'll try to write it in terms of this vx and time so along x direction there is no force acting so the electron will take time t to cross this uh, region l so i can write the length of the region will be vx times t t is the time taken to cross the uh, electric field region now in the same time t the electron will acquire y component of the speed that we can find using equation of motion v equal to u plus a t here a is the acceleration of the electron that uh, we can find uh, by using the force acting on the electron force is given by e times c when a charge particle moves in electric field it will experience force that we can write like this also we can write force as m times a which is e where m is mass of electron a is the acceleration of the electron along y direction so this will become e e by m so let's write this here vy which is equal to zero initially it doesn't have y component of the velocity so this is zero plus e e by m here you may think that uh, charge of electron is negative y we are not using the negative so all those negative signs are going to decide the direction of motion which is already given so uh, I'm not including them. Uh, we are just interested in magnitudes only. So we need not to consider here. That is going to result in direction only, which already taken care of. So we have Vx and sorry, Vx squared we have. Vy also we have. Vy is E, e by M. Yeah. Fine. Oh, sorry, time will also come or vy yeah 
Now uh, we need this theta. Uh, we can write tan theta is equal to vy by vx. So we need to divide this uh, vy by vx. So let's do that. Actually, let's try something uh, different. Let's uh, you know simplify this uh, vy. I mean, we'll take this vy and l, and then we'll divide both of them. Why? Because we have no information about the time. We want to cancel the time term. For that, when I divide vy by with l, then the time can get cancelled. So just look at here, vy by l, which will become e e by m times t. Here vx times t. Okay, so in this case the time gets cancelled. And this will become e, e by m. So vx squared is given by e by m. We want vx only, then it will become how much you can write here root of e by m so i'll write vx here uh, maybe the top one we can write it as uh, vx squared e by m that is uh, vx squared here e is the this is vx so one thing we can cancel out so i'm getting vy by l which is equal to vx times e now we want vy by vx so let's rearrange vy by vx which is equal to e into l and we know that vy by vx is tan theta let's substitute this uh, e and l E equal so here this is 10 and 0 0.1 which will become 1 so tan theta is equal to 1 then theta equal to tan inverse of 1 when the tan theta becomes 1 the theta is 45 then only this becomes 1. So theta will be 45 degree. Here, yeah, 45 is the correct answer.